A quiet days before or after the deal between the UAE and the United Arab Emirates, uh, Jared Kushner, the uh, son-in-law of uh, Donald Trump, and uh, there's a huge uh, support from Donald Trump about uh, uh, the movement for this deal, uh, this deal, uh, the peace deal in uh, United Arab United Emirates and uh, between Israel. And uh, after that, uh, quite uh, after that law, uh, Jared Kushner was interviewed and he was uh, uh, he was telling that uh, this uh, movement is a uh, step uh, just for the sake of the peace and stability into the region between two countries, uh, that Arab Emirates and uh, UAE and uh, uh, taking action against the terrorism into the religion, into the region, into this uh, territory between uh, Middle East. Uh, he is taking like uh, this action just for the sake of uh, t terrorism into the uh, Middle East uh, region and surrounding by Israel. Because what kind of terrorism that he is talking about? The Israeli people terrifying the Palestinian innocent people. Uh, the ladies, the women are getting raped allegedly, and they are killing allegedly. Okay, and they're now talking about the peace and stability and the terrorism. What kind of shit is it? What kind of fucking idiot he is that trying to make people fool around? Okay, he's a fucking Jared Kushner. I think that yesterday was a historic step. This was the first uh, agreement that you've had in the Middle East for peace in 26 years. The last one was 1994 between Israel and Jordan. Uh, Saudi Arabia has obviously been a great leader in making modernization, but uh, you can't turn a battleship around overnight. I think that uh, President Trump has, you know, again, his first trip was to Saudi Arabia. He's worked very closely with King Salman, with the, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. And what he's uh, worked very closely on is how do we get Saudi Arabia more aligned with U.S. policy? And we've been able to do that. Number one is we've worked very hard together to counter Iran, which has been very important. Uh, number two, we started a joint terror finance center with Saudi Arabia, where we're able to stop a lot of the money that's been going to terrorism. Uh, number three, and maybe the most important for the long-term uh, gain, is we started a center to combat extremism online. Saudi Arabia is the custodian of the two holy sites. It's the most um, one of the leaders of the Muslim world. And what we've been able to do with them is to get them focused on how do we get uh, people to not distort the religion of Islam and to be real leaders in, in going against radicalization. They've done that. They've also taken great steps to modernize their society. Under President Trump's uh, term, you know, in, in partnership, uh, they've uh, allowed women to start driving. They've relaxed their garden Stories guardianship. Stories we've covered on CNBC. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, so you've seen a lot of progress in Saudi Arabia. I would also say that if you follow the, the, the press and the statements in Saudi Arabia, they've been quite supportive of the initiative that happened yesterday. So my sense with Saudi Arabia is uh, they have a, a, a two different uh, populations there. They have their younger population that uh, that wants to see partnership with Israel. They're interested in economy, Vision 2030, technology. They want better lives. They see Israel as almost the Silicon Valley of the Middle East, and they want to be connected to it uh, as a trading partner, as a technology partner, as a security partner. Then you have the older generation there that's still stuck in conflicts of the past. And I think that people will watch, see how this goes there. I do think we have other countries that are very interested in moving forward. Uh, and, uh, and then as that progresses, I, I do think it's an inevitability that Saudi Arabia and Israel will have uh, fully normalized relations and they'll be able to do uh, a lot of great things together. So uh, I just want to say, because the, the, you know, the way that your, your question came is that uh, yesterday was a, a, a real historic breakthrough in the region and, uh, and I think will lead to